Hi everyone, thanks for attending this web talk. So the topic of today is data integration and big data. I am Giuseppe Malanga, I am the solution architect at Zaisi. So let's have a look at the agenda. Uh, I will go through the Hadoop ecosystem, then I will give you an introduction to talent big data and at the end there will be a demo about Hadoop and talent big data. So let's have a look at the Hadoop ecosystem. From this diagram you see the Hadoop ecosystem. Starting from the bottom you will see the Hadoop core, so the basically based on the distributed file system HDFS. Uh, on top of it you have the MapReduce framework based on YARN and Apache HBase uh, NoSQL database. On top of it you have the machine learning uh, system, the distributed programming system and the scheduling system. So we are not going to focus today on machine learning and scheduling but just to the distributed programming uh, system. So the distributed programming system is based on uh, Spark framework for uh, real-time analysis, uh, Apache Hive, uh, which is the data warehouse, and big scripting for uh, loading and analyzing data. On top of that, uh, there is the Apache Ambari console for uh, system management. So what is Apache Hive? Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure tool for processing structured data in Hadoop. It resides on top of Hadoop to summarize big data and it makes querying and analyzing easy. Hive stores schema in a database, processes data into HDFS, provides a SQL type language for query called uh, HiveQL, is familiar, fast and scalable. So HiveQL. HiveQL is a high-level programming language similar to SQL. From the right image you see that SQL and HiveQL are really similar. If your data is stored as a Hive table you can use HiveQL to process it. Hive converts the requests to MapReduce jobs that are executed on your HDFS cluster. So what are the common Hadoop distribution? There is the open source, the Apache Hadoop distribution, which is the one I have shown before. There are some commercial distributions like Cloudera, Hortonworks, MapR, AWS MapReduce and uh, Datastax. Let's move on on uh, Talent Big Data. So this is the Talent Data Platform. And today we will focus on big data integration uh, on the studio and the repository. So with Talent Big Data, you can monitor the Hadoop cluster. You can create metadata cluster for uh, connecting to your HDFS cluster. You can read and write data in HDFS. So Talent offers a lot of uh, HDFS dedicated components to write uh, and read data uh, from and to the cluster and read and write data uh, in uh, HDFS, HBase uh, database. So you can work also with tables. Uh, you have component to importing uh, DB tables with scoop and create tables in Apache Hive. And you have also component to processing data in tables in HDFS. For instance, you can process table with Hive, you can process tables and data with big, and you can process data with big data batch jobs using the MapReduce uh, frameworks or Spark framework. So let's have a look at the component to write and read data in HDFS. So if you want to write, if you want to connect, read or write data, 
So Talent offers a lot of uh, dedicated components. For instance, you have components for connecting to HDFS cluster, to Apache Edge based database, to Apache Hive. So you can read and write data uh, to HDFS, to Apache Edge base, to Hive, and you can create tables on Apache Hive. So the demo of today, let's give you a little bit of context. So my Hadoop distro will be uh, Hortonworks. Uh, I have a CSV file with 1 million line of customer data. The schema of the CSV is uh, described in this slide. I have an ID, first name, last name, city, state, product, category, gender, purchase state. So what are the actions that I'm going to perform? I will upload the CSV to the HDFS cluster. Then I will load the CSV to an Apache uh, Hive table. I'm doing some profiling using the Talent Studio profile view. And uh, inside the, within the Talent Studio, I will uh, perform some uh, filter and aggregate data. And I will load the new data in a different Hive table. And I will use the Apache Zeppelin uh, to create graphs from the process data. So let's move on to the demo. On my local machine, I have a Norton Works distribution running, as you can see from my screen. So this one is the Apache Ambari dashboard for monitoring the cluster. This is the HDFS file system browser. I'm using this specific folder called WebTalk. If I refresh the folder, you can see the folder is empty. This one is the Apache Hive console for uh, the data warehouse. I'm using this particular database called Talent Demo. If I refresh the database, as you can see, the database is empty. And this is the Apache Zeppelin console for data visualization. At the moment, it's empty. If I go back to the Talent Studio, in the left side, in the metadata repository, I have created the two connections, one for the HDFS cluster and one for the Hive, Apache Hive. So I don't have to create connection each time I want to run a new job. So I have created this job which reads from a CSV, a local CSV, and writes the data into the HDFS uh, file system. So if I run this job, you will see the data flow from the left side to the right side. And one million of rows has been copied to the HDFS file system. So if I go to the file system uh, browser, I refresh the folder, you can see my data has been copied. If I click on the data, I can see the rows. So going back to the studio, uh, I have created another job which loads the data from the HDFS file system to an Apache Hive table called customer data. So if I run this job, so this job reads from the HDFS file system and creates a table on the Apache Hive uh, data warehouse. If I go to the Apache Hive console and I refresh the database, you can see that my table has been created. Going back to the Talent Studio, so I have another job which does some data processing. So basically, I'm reading from the table just created in Apache Hive and I'm doing some data aggregation. In this case, I'm aggregating the data by product category and gender 
and I'm counting the products by product category. So I will store the new data in a different tables called Ag results. So you can see here. So if I run this job, you will see the data flow uh, running from the left side to the right side in, the, in, the, in this view. So the table has been created. If I go back to the Hive console and I refresh the database, you will see a new table created here, and results. Going back to the Talent Studio, I have uh, the final job, which does a filter of data and aggregation of the filtered data. So the filter basically filters the data from um, for state. So I'm filtering the data coming only from California. And I'm doing the same aggregation as before. So product category, gender, and counting the product category, counting the products by product category, sorry. So if I run this job, so a new table will be created in the Apache Hive for the aggregation of data for the state of California. So if I go back to the Apache Hive console and I refresh the talent demo database, so I see the new table is being created. So going back to the talent studio, I can use the profiling, the normal profiling, for do some day for doing some data profiling. So I have here my connection to the um, Apache Hive. As you can see here, I have all the three tables. So I can do uh, an overview of the database. So I've already done uh, an analysis, an overview analysis. I can open the existing analysis here. So basically the overview counts the number of rows, the number of tables and does some statistics. I can do also a table analysis. In this case, I've done, a tab I've done um, an analysis using the customer's data and I've done some filters. Basically, I have filtered only the gender F. So this simple analysis counts how many rows I have for females. In this case, it's alpha male. I can do also column analysis, so based on columns. So I can select which columns I want to analyze and select the indicators for um, each columns. So you can choose from um, uh, predefined indicators or you can create custom indicators. So if I run the analysis, you can see the, the so for instance, for state, I've done a simple statistics. So basically I've count the rows, I've counted the null value and the blank value. For product category, simple statistic, row count, null count, bla uh, blank count, and also value frequency. So I know the results for uh, each product category. Same for the gender. So. After the data profiling, I can use the Apache Zeppelin console for building some nice and useful graphs. For instance, I can uh, create a graphs uh, and from the aggregated results. So basically here on the left side, I have the graphs which shows the products by category uh, grouped by gender. In the right side, I have the products uh, uh, grouped by category and gender, but just for the state of California. As you can see, you can compare the two graphs and create for instance, you can create new graphs 
from here or uh, change the existing graphs. So this, uh, this is all. So thank you for attending.